Even working with Premiere Pro every day, I still make silly mistakes. So watch this video and don't make them yourself. But before I continue, Selecting in and out points are very handy if you are editing several bits on the same timeline or just want to export a tiny bit of the complete video, for example to test it. But I personally easily forget to clear in and out points and sometimes continue my editing with them being selected. As a result, after a while I realized that I have deleted a section of my timeline which was selected. I usually do it by pressing backspace or delete button when I edit other sections. So annoying! Usually you realize that when you zoom out of the timeline and see the whole picture. It is more tricky to bring everything back, as you already went far away uh, to just simply do Ctrl Z. And now you have to go to the history panel and look for the mistake. So always remember to clear in and out points to avoid this mistake. If, for example, changes come in and you have to re-edit your video, do not make them on the existing timeline, but copy it. Rename, for example, version 2 and then make changes. I had an experience when clients want to change the whole thing back to original, but I already altered the edit. It is so much easier to make a new copy of the timeline whenever you make corrections, especially working with clients. Of course, when you make a video for yourself, it is less needed. In everyday life, I use several computers for work and export using different settings. So when exporting, another one of my mistakes is not selecting render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. This may be important when you have graphic elements in your video, so make sure your presets are correct. Another mistake when exporting is when you edit videos filmed on a phone. They usually have some weird frame rate like 23.9 or 29.9 frames per second. So previously, sometimes when I forget to check the frame rate and drag and drop the footage on the timeline, I export incorrectly. For example, I clicked match source. As a result, I had a working video, however, it did not work on specific devices. In my case, it was a smart TV. It didn't work on smart TV because of the wrong frame rate. So make sure you create a timeline and export to right settings and frame rate. Guess what's now? Subscription time! You can also collect good karma points by subscribing to my channel. I also have this mistake. When I reload the project and don't wait enough for a clip to reload, you know this yellow screen, and I end up rendering a video with one yellow clip in it. It happened to me several times. And it even went further to a client like this. So stupid, you know? So now before rendering, I always quickly scroll through footage to check for some visual errors. Same can happen when you're stabilizing a clip. Sometimes it can stop stabilizing, but still leaves the blue writing on the clip. And you accidentally can export it with that error. So don't be lazy, spend some extra seconds checking everything before rendering. And also check the exported video before sending it to someone or uploading it. Using shortcuts when editing is a must. But sometimes when you work too fast, you can accidentally put, uh, for example, cross dissolves on video or audio to all your shots on the timeline uh, with Ctrl D and Ctrl Shift D. The best way you can fix it is by going to history and deleting that action. 
The other way is to struggle manually and delete them one by one, but I don't suggest to do that. Of course, Ctrl Z if you just did it. There are several mistakes you can make related to audio in Premiere. So imagine you have footage with the microphone channel and ambient noise, and you deleted the, the ambient. At some point you realize you need that audio channel back, and want it to be exactly the same length as the clip. So there are two ways you can uh, restore it. One is by match frame. Select your file, make sure you select proper audio channel and then you shortcut. Press F and period. Or sequence, match frame and then overwrite. You can do the same for a video file as well. And the other option is very silly. So don't use this method, but I still will tell you. You can find the clip in the project, drag and drop on the timeline and you will see the bit you need and cut it out. Thanks for patience and interest in this video. Now it's time you press like button and subscribe to my channel. Why? Because this will be video series and I will make more videos on Premiere Pro and editing topic. And of course I will probably make some other random videos too. Also feel free to comment on how regular or silly are my mistakes. Also don't forget to tell me which ones are yours.